Hey guys! In this video series, I'm going to show you how to create components and animate them in Figma. Components are a game changer when it comes to design an app or website. They offer flexibility and ease of use, making it a breeze to modify and reuse elements. In the first video, I will walk you through the basics and create a responsive typography scale. My main focus is on create responsive components so if you have any uncertainty with line height or letter spacing, don't worry, you can find some links in the video's caption which help you to set up these parameters. So if you are ready, let's get started. I have already downloaded some icons and created color styles to speed up the process for us. To create styles, a subscription is required. However, if you don't have a subscription, don't worry, you can still create components without it. The first step is to setting up the size, letter spacing, line height and font type for 6 headline variations, 3 types of body text, 2 types of subtitles and captions. This will ensure consistency throughout our design. You can easily modify the parameters in the text section located on the right side of the screen. To create the typography scale, you can use one of the font scale generator that I have linked in the video's caption. A generator can help you defining the values for these parameters. Once we have defined all the styles, it's time to move on to creating components. It's a simple process, just select the text and click on the component icon located at the top of your screen. If you prefer, you can also right click with your mouse and choose the create component option or simply use the shortcut K, Ctrl, Alt plus key. In every case, let's make sure to enable the auto height, which allows the text to adjust its height based on the content. Once we have done that, we can proceed with the first test. Throughout the process, I usually test the components to ensure they are functioning as intended. As you can see, the transition between different headlines and body text works well. However, the height of the components itself doesn't adjust according to the amount of text, which could pose a problem later on. To achieve dynamic appearance, we need to set up the auto layout option and work with the height and width values in the frame section. As a first step, we should set the component's width to be fixed. Later, if you use the component in a frame or as a part of another component, you can change this setup to fill the container. Within the component, select the text itself and choose the fill the container option. This ensures that the text fills the available space within the component. For the height value, you can keep the hug option in all cases, as it allows the component to adjust its height based on the content. By setting up the auto layout, we can achieve a more responsive and dynamic design. Now let's give it a try. As you can see, everything is worked perfectly. With the components in place, we are now ready to move on and create buttons and more exciting elements.